Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm very happy you're here with me today. You know, I always miss you when I don't see you. You know, we talked about my not doing videos anymore, but I think I would miss you all so much. So I'll keep trying. You just have to forgive me when I use the wrong names or the wrong words. If you don't mind those, then welcome, welcome. I'm happy you're here with me. So I love you all, and I have a nice video for you today. I have been crafting away in my studio, so I thought I'd invite you in to hang out with me while I do some decorating. I'm just going to be decorating different kinds of ephemera and, you know, chit-chatting, and, you know, that's it. So I thought I'd show you these. Um, we talked about these. These were the um, clutch envelope pockets, and I finished this one, so I thought I would show you it all done kind of a vintage old-fashioned feel. Um, I even did a little bit on the back, um, although I didn't put anything back here. Whoops, I do plan to do that. I have some pretty rose, um, uh, you know, journaling cards that you could write on. Just plain. And then um, I did go back and um, do some, um, gosh, you guys, it's not stenciling. What do you call it? Um, See, it's that kind of thing. The forgetting the words drives me crazy. I hate it when I can't remember my words. And it is stencils, right? Yeah, I did that stenciling. Ugh, oh, boy. Okay. Anyway, I did stencil. I highly recommend, though, that when before you glue everything together that you stencil first because it's very difficult when you have stuff on this side to lay it down and stencil because it, it rocks really bad. But anyway, this is what I did. And as you can see, this would like go in the back, back here, if you wanna put a card back there. I gotta remember that there is a, a pocket back there. So this is a dual pocket, right? You have two. And I put some pretty little um, journaling cards in there, rose journaling cards that kind of go with that. So there's that one, and it has a, I used a clip to keep it closed and a little dangly, right? Put a charm. On one of those clips these are not the tim holtz clips these are much less expensive than the tim holtz by like you get 20 times more and you pay a third of the cost so they're fabulous i can't remember where i put my others i gotta find the rest of them anyway so this was the very first one we did and i went back and i redid it i didn't like it so i completely added new stuff i didn't put anything on the back i could and I just put one little card in there for now just to show it's a pocket. But I've got to remember to do that on the back. So I've got to have to go through my stash and find out what I could add to these. Well, I'm going to wait till I give it away because it may be things from the kit or just as a happy meal. I want to load it up with stuff. So I don't really want to overload now. But then I had this pretty little one I did and I made a little lace um, thing. And I used a paper clip on this one because I didn't have anything pretty. And I used some pretty well let's see if i can lay them out of my palm not so easy right oh now it's caught great hold on a minute there we go goodness they're fiddly charms are fiddly i think that's why a lot of people don't use them because they're just a pain there you go so that's what's on that one cute right okay i use rose gold on this pink one and I just made it very feminine we have our pocket in the back and I could do more back there if I wanted and then I did put a bunch of goodies in here Isn't that cute what a cute little card and I put some of these in there they're not decorated up I thought I'd leave them plain but we'll see then this one's fun you go like this and look at you have all this fabulous writing space on the inside so that's a fun one. It's not decorated up either. So I'll wait until I give it as the gift and then I'll, you know, do that, put something in there. But you know what I might do? I might take this one and put it back here so I remember. Well, there's a pocket back there. That way I'll remember to decorate and do that on the back. But the fronts are completely done. So it just kind of depends on what you want to do, um, you know, to decorate yours up. I'm all fingers and thumbs today. Gosh, okay. So there you have it. So those were the three we did in the last video. There were, oh gosh, two, uh, nope, that's not them. Oh, that one is. I still have three more. Now they're all together, but I highly recommend that you do any stenciling, maybe even before you glue the pocket down, but definitely before you decorate, because once you decorate the lid, it's really difficult. If you're going to do the lid or you're going to work down here or, 
you know, whatever. So these are my, some more of those clutch pockets. And I really like them and they're, they're a lot of fun. So we may decorate those today. Um, but I had something else I wanted to work on. And so I thought maybe I would do those with you. I also had, oh, sorry. I am just throwing stuff. <laughs> okay. Everywhere. We'll get back to these in a minute. Remember these? These were the ones that we had that it's got the little gusset on the side. And someone said, why don't you just do the V? Because this is actually wider than a V gusset. I mean, it seems like it is. Seems like you can get more in there, but I don't know. It's just how this particular one went. So I was thinking that these need to be decorated up. I have a Christmas one. Yay! And um, I did want to talk about the... Um, Merry Monday, because guys, you know what? You know how I have two, two tins, right? Full of Christmas. Well, guess what? <laughs> I went to get out my, this is my Christmas box. One of my Christmas, started out with just everything in here. I went to get my journal and thought, I'm going to see how much I really need for this. And then of course I have another one I want to do. And look what's under here. Can you see? I mean, it's full. I didn't realize I had so much ephemera. Remember I made this? I don't know if you remember this last year. I made this ephemera holder. It is full of ephemera. Look at It's full of stuff to go in journals. Look, 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 look. Can you see? It's, it's like full, full. And so I have that. All that stuff to use. Then... I have all of, oh, and then here's another one. I have this bag I made full of ephemera. Look at all the ephemera for that. Okay, so there's that one. Then, look at all this. All this ephemera, you guys. I have so much ephemera. I did not pay attention to the fact that I have tons and tons and tons. I even have fabric flips, so I definitely don't need to make any of those. And it goes all the way down to the bottom, you guys, plus the two no I did. So I don't think I need to do any more Merry Monday. I know I'm helping you guys build your stash, but oh, oh. <laughs> um, just a bit more than I might need. But like I said, I should be able, for me though, part of this is just covering the pages because the book I used was not something that you would want to read at Christmas, right? Um, I don't even remember the story, but I know it wasn't a particularly nice story. It wasn't a bad story, but it wasn't anything fun, you know? So I still have pages to cover. And yes, we have no, we will be able to fill up every one of these pockets in like two seconds, right? But the big thing will be covering the pages and then filling it. See, and I even made myself a template for cutting pages and for cutting, you know, like paper. So it was a discard book from the library, damaged. So I think we'll probably next month be doing videos for this. I seem to be missing bits and pieces on, from this. It seems like there were some other things on here. Um, but... We'll be doing, we'll be working on this, filling it, covering it, getting it completed, right? And maybe starting the other, um, I have the cover done, but I don't have any pages for the other one. So we need to look around for that. So that is what we're going to be doing in all of October, because October is two weeks away. Maybe sooner we'll be doing it. But as you know, I have two other journals I have to finish. One is the um, fairy tale book. And what is my um, ladies of bottom rows? So, and I have also have two or three projects for Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. So I really, as you know, I'm kind of a busy girl. So yeah, we will be getting to Christmas. And when we do, we'll stay there until we finish those two projects and whatever else I want to do. Um, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of this. I figured out my issues and I've corrected uh, a good amount of them. Um... But, you know, I'm just going to give you like the quickest oh, from far away. Oh, that needs pearls. Yep, that's to remind me. 
And then this has some pretties. I'm not going to show you a lot. I'm just going to kind of flip through. That needs more. That that needs a, that's got to have stuff. This needs to be glued on and decorated. This has its card, which I think I already showed you. Uh, I've repaired every issue that I had. Had a glue issue and stuff. And that. And I had that. I think I just skipped some pages. And that. And let's see. We have that. We have that, we have that. So I'm almost done with this. I just have some decorating and fill in some journal cards. Um, I've already replaced pages that had problems. This is a pretty, a pretty journal card. She's quite pretty. And she's in a very pretty little bag with lots of goodies. And there you go. And she's all sparkled up. Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she beautiful? So anyway, I replaced all the pages that had issues. And I had a glue bleed through that damaged the pages. And I fixed all of those. A lot of work. So um, she's back on the right track. I just need to finish her up. So I thought I would give you a view of what I've been having to work with. And... Uh, that's about where we're at. We're on ketchup here, right? <laughs> ketchup, I sound like a hamburger. <laughs> I'll take some ketchup. I don't like ketchup, so I'm going to get some water. Excuse me. Ooh, I got dry mouth real quick. So I thought maybe, um, if you remember her, I thought I would do a little something with her and um, decorate this little envelope up. It's a Christmas one. And I'm thinking it would I would want some lace on it. And, oh, you know what would look cool on that? You guys, I know. Remember some of that new stuff I just got at Magical Mixery? I think that's what it's called. Magical Mixery Store. Give me a sec. I'm grabbing that stuff. to grab some of the goodies from that uh, cute store adorable store okay I was thinking we could use some of that on this I don't want to glue her down just yet I think I would want to put um, some I'm up and down because I like I said I was just crafting and just grabbing the things as I need it and I warned you that that happens and you said turn on the camera anyway so here I am I turned on the camera anyway and I'm looking for my oh there we go I wanted to get some like music paper and paper to use you know so we had the right some scrap stuff to use right and ow you know, with me, Christmas, I love to use music paper because I always think, I, you know, during Christmas, I have all my Christmas music on from Thanksgiving night till Christmas is done. So I thought, well, let's grab some, like, Christmas paper. I don't want to cut off those boys, though, you know. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's something. Else. There it is. That's what I want. That will work, right? Okay, so we'll put these off to the side. And we will start with a little Christmas, won't we? I'm pretty sure I've read ink somewhere, but I think I would use more of a burgundy ink with this one. Mahogany kind of color. I do have some Tim Holtz mahogany, I think. I don't remember if I ever went and got a full-size one or if I only had the little itty-bitty one. I probably should order a full-size one. Let's just give everything a little going over, just real quick. 
which I said during when I made these, I would do that, and then we would go back and decorate, right? I really like this little corner. So let me see if we can use that and that. And yes, we're covering that up, but it's just the Tim Holtz, which isn't particularly Christmassy. Um, and okay, don't get rid of the thing you want to keep. Okay, I need paper under that. You know that, right? We, we know if I don't put paper under there, I will have an issue. So let me see if I have a paper. Oh. There we go. A stamp on that? No. I've got to stop keeping paper. I'm getting overwhelmed with the amount of paper I have. Not getting. I am overwhelmed. Okay, so let's go like this. So how are you guys? Are you good? Is everyone healthy and happy? What are you up to? Anything new and exciting? I hope there's something fun going on in your life. That's not boring. But kind of, you know, my life isn't exactly exciting, so I don't know why I would expect yours to be. You know, there's always the hope that someone's doing, having a better time than you are, if you're not. So, well, that's a cute little piece. Got a song from the Bethlehem. Let's put that in there. I don't want to lose that one. Okay, so I don't need that either. We'll put that in there. These can be used. And then let me see how she's doing. Now, I don't know that I need that all on this side, but I do want to see the music. Isn't that a funny thing? I do. I mean, not a funny thing, but I do want to see it. So, um, oh, wrong way, but that's okay. That could have a deep cut on that one, but I don't want a deep cut on these. So let's go like that. That half inch cut isn't the best, I think. It's either worn out or, hey, that's cool, right? I like that. Let's put that off to the side. Let's ink this. This is one of the things I wanted to do today. And then I wanted to get onto these other tags. So we'll do just this one. And then I'll, I'll you know, I have some cute images to use on these others. I'm going to go with vintage images, right? So let me get some glue. Let's get this done. And I'm just going to use a little bit of art glitter glue. I probably need to recover this bottle. It's pretty getting pretty grody. Okay, let's put this on here. Move it down just a little. Let me get my and then let's put this on there. Yeah, that's really cute. That adds a little extra something something, right? Now, we could leave it open on one side as a little tuck, and maybe I will, because I always think that's fun. I'm sure I could find a little Christmas bit to stick in there. Boy, that's not straight at all, is it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, let's move that down a little bit. It's always good to use your bone folder if you can that way or whatever you have to press it down so it kind of gets a good a good stay right and then I have these great little these are stars 15 cents these are vintage these were in my desk stash I don't know my mom may have given them to me a long time oh look they have gold and red oh I had no idea I still had gold ones you guys oh my gosh oh and there's a red one too Okay, well, we have to use... Oh, that red doesn't go with that, though. It's not very dark. Are there any other red ones in there? A different color, you know, or are there only those red ones? I had no idea there were gold ones in here, you guys. I thought it was running out. <gasps> Treasure trove. Bingo. I think I'll save that red for something. She's very burgundy, but I wouldn't mind putting a, a star or two on here. We want three. I had no idea. I had no idea. Bingo. Yahtzee. <laughs> That's a Yahtzee, right, guys? That's a Yahtzee. OMG. I keep it in a little bag because that lid pops open. And I remember one day when I first found them in my stash, that thing popped open, ripped open, and it went everywhere. Wait, I have a smaller. I thought I got a thinner one of that. 
hold tight a minute, just a minute. Let me look. That little furry one. The little furry one is fabulous. And I thought I got a little one. Hmm. Hmm. Let me look on my wall. I do. Well, oh, well, okay. Yes. Yeah, that one's kind of, I don't know. Let's pull it off and see how wide it is. It may be too fat. I mean, it might be thick, you know, and I don't know. Oh, pretty colors. I could use green. Nope, wrong green, though. Mm. Not that green. I wanted this for some journals. For the Santa fur, like to go on a Santa hat around his neck or like she's wearing fur. Let's see how skinny it is. Well, if we can find the opening. Aha. Yeah, that's pretty wide. Okay. So I, I know just the images I want to use this one on. So just what I bought it for, and it's going to work perfect. So, oh, I'll put those back in later. I'm going to waste time. Let's not waste our precious time. Now I have this. This is really pretty, but I don't think it's thick enough. This came off of a package, I think, this one here. Okay, if I can figure out how to get it off the card, we'll use it. It seems to be caught up, there we go, in the other one. Well, I don't need a lot. I just want a little bit at the bottom. I just want to put it right across the bottom. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. Scissors. I keep moving things around on my desk trying to make it more efficient. <laughs> it's efficient once you get used to it, but until you do, it's not efficient. So you kind of got to be careful, you know. I was looking for this everywhere yesterday. I could not find it to save my life. It was on the wall. I had a day, of course I've had a series of migraines. And so I had a day where, I'm not kidding, I could not find one single thing I was looking for. I have never been so frustrated in my life. I could not find anything. Some things I still didn't find. I found two, one of the three things that I was looking for. I swear you guys, I'd have to go back and look at videos, but I swear I bought charms christmas charms last year anybody remember besides me i mean i'm thinking maybe i just hallucinated it but i swear i bought christmas charms i and i know my daughter gave me some i can't find them anywhere i've looked for through what i assume is all my christmas stuff and i oh that's cute um i cannot find them anywhere nowhere they are not to be found so i ordered some new ones got them in already super excited I have little pads, notepads of like tan or cream beige lined paper that's perfect to put inside to make like notebooks if you want to make a little notebook. Can't find that anywhere. It was just on my desk, literally just on my desk less than a week ago. And I put it somewhere thinking, oh, I'll find it. Um, nope, I can't find it. I'm, oh, it just frustrates me. And I did find the notepads I was looking for, the big ones. Um, my vintage paper pads so that I can I'm gonna have to use those to make my notebooks because I couldn't find the little ones that I wanted so you know we all have those days I guess I don't know you guys lose stuff in your studios you swear it was there a minute ago you know you saw it because you have a clear memory but you don't know what you did with it after you saw it or even where you saw it I went through everything I spent almost two hours looking for stuff yesterday to the point I finally threw up my hands, said I give up, and went and laid down. I just was so frustrated. Oh my gosh. It's a lot when you're tracking and you have a lot in your studio. It's great to have lots to choose from, but then again, you lose things. So, And I try to keep certain things all together. So that was the funny part. I kind of like, like the three little um, things up there. That's very cute. I feel like something should be in the middle. Don't know what. Like a little something. Now, I did get home. I got new, like all kinds of new little goodies to use on my journals. In my journals. On my journals. And I got, there we go. There's the red bows. Oh, but that's too red. Everything there is too red. It's too bright red. That's more burgundy. I don't think I have any burgundy color roses. I might have some, but they're in my old stash. So, I like that. I feel like now it needs a word, right? Don't you think it needs a word? She needs a word, a sentence, a something. She needs something. What does she need? Anybody got an idea? I don't want to use a stamp. I could use a stamp. I mean, I don't want to use a... Um, do, 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 do. I think a word is probably best. Let me get my Christmas words from Jolene. 
Got a jewel design. She's got the best Christmas words ever. Really, I've looked through a lot of them. I have a few from other companies, but these are the right size. Snow. Snow is a good one. I want to see if I have maybe one that's already cut. I hate to keep cutting words and then, you know, I have like a billion. I never plan to put these in a book because Christmas is a whole different storage situation, right? And I only have so much room in here. And I'm pretty... I don't really have room for more storage. That's the problem. There's snow. There's snow. There's snow. Yay! I found snow. Let it snow. 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 White Christmas. Do you ever watch that movie with, I think it's Bing Crosby? Who was in that one? I'll have to look it up. But anyway, it's, it's an oldie but a goodie, and I adore it. It's one of my absolute favorite movies. I watch it every year. And it's so fun. I, you know what? I think I need to watch it to get myself back into the Christmas group before I do my um, next Christmas thing. I just cut a full sheet of these. I want you to know. So I would have it for this project. And you know we're going to be making all kinds of journal cards and things that we didn't make it. I'm not making, but, you know, finishing up the ones that we didn't quite finish. I think we'll put that there. And we'll call her done, right? I feel like we need something there. Um, Let's see. Kind of yellow. That's the only red in there on that one. That's Artsology. We could actually use a big one. That one that's like a little darker. That's a little darker. It seems a little more burgundy than red. I'm looking to see. I don't mind. I would like to get some of these in a book. That's for sure. I don't know why. I don't have, you know, some people have favorite number. I do not have a favorite number. I like the numbers that go 27 through 30. Because we all, our birth dates all are like an anniversaries. 26, we'll start at 26, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30 covers our whole little family. And then, of course, my son's like got 16, <laughs> you know. But anyway, it's fun. And this is a little sticker. No, I like it here. We'll put it down. Wait, I forgot this folds. I want to make sure I get it above the fold. There. Cute, right? I think that's cute. Something simple. Doesn't need to be crazy. That will go into the Christmas box. So, huh, not that it needs any more in the Christmas box. Yikes. All right. So I think we are probably done with all the Christmas here. I'm going to take it off my desk, you guys, because I really don't want to have room for it, for what the rest of the stuff I want to do. Although, I guess I could leave that one on there for now. Let me put this over here. What's new with you guys? Anything exciting? I hope so. Oh, goodness. I just threw everything on the floor. Well, I'll clean up later. I always have a big mess after a video. <laughs> Takes me forever. Takes me forever to clean up. There's even sort of setup when you're doing your crafting and you realize you want to make a video because you're like, oh, I need to pull out this or that. So I don't have to run all over the room, but you still end up running all over the room. <laughs> much as I'd like to not run all over the room, I still end up doing it. So let me, I don't know if I need that or not. So got eyelash trim, I got all kinds of goodies here. Okay, that's good. Now, I still have those two to do, but I want to make these tags. 
And um, these are a fun notebook pocket tag. And I've got everything kind of laid out already. And these are made from a six by six paper pad. So when you fold the six by six, you get a three by six tag, which is what my standard size for a tag is three by six. And um, when you open it up, now you wanna use two side paper. You don't have to use a paper pad. You can use scrapbook paper, you can use scraps, you can use, um, digital, you know, printed on both sides on a cardstock. You want to have a little bit of half if you can. Um, and then you clip your corners. Now, I did go through, and I've been meaning to do this. I lost mine. And I made a couple of different corners so that I could use for my project. So I'm not having to grab. I do have um, blanks that I use. You know, like when I'm... I'm going to fall over. Like I have a bunch of different kinds of cards in different angles so that I can make um, different, like that's a flat with a round bottom, you know, I so I can make, those are my blanks, you know, sample cards. And I just usually line them up, but I thought I would do the credit card thing and see if that worked. Okay. So what I want to do is I will show you, I was hoping to get a a sample me, but I knew once I got going, I wouldn't stop. And then I'm like, I'll forget to turn on the video. And then I'd be all, oh dear, you know. Now this is a wild paper, I know, I know. But this one really bothers my eyes. So it's going to be on the inside and you'll see, you're not gonna see very much of it. I'm gonna cover most of it up. Oh, it's probably messing with the camera too. So excuse me, I never thought about that. Let me see, what do you see in the camera? Well, it's not too bad, but see. Ugh. crazy 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 okay what's new exciting I think I asked you that what are you doing projects camping uh, kids back in school football volleyball my granddaughter my middle granddaughter Lizzie B has joined color guard so that goes with the band and very exciting so she is going to be doing all kinds of performances so we're gonna be busy grandparents hopefully I'm looking forward to that. Everybody else goes to their grandkids' football games and baseball, basketball, volleyball, but, you know, we never get to do anything because my two oldest ones generally aren't interested in doing that. They're artists, so... But one has decided she wants to give it a try, so I'm super excited for her. So I took about six pieces of paper. This is about two and a half by five. And we're going to make a little notebook. And I'm gonna, and I'm using these beautiful rose gold copper staples. So I'm gonna let them show for the moment. Although I just realized why am I doing that? Because I'm, I can either leave it like that or I can cover it with lace. So we're kind of have to see. And see that covers up a good amount of paper. I wanna put a pocket over here. So it's a pocket notebook tag. Now I want to, I know I want to round the corners here, as always. I want to use my ladies because these are going into my, um, are going to go into my autumn journal, as well as some of my others. This is for my stash. I'm stash building again. So what we'll do is we'll glue this in first. Then I'll figure out what, if I want to cover this with lace or what I want to do. I'm not going to go right up to the very top, but I'm going to go very close to the top. I'm going to leave a little space all the way around, kind of center it. Okay. Now I want to make, now I just made this a little less than three all the way around. It's three inches square. And because I did round the corner, I'm going to want to round the corner because it's got to fit down there. So I'll round both corners. And now you can leave it a plain pocket or you could angle the pocket. So I am thinking I'm going to want to angle it a bit to make it easy to get in and out. This one. We're going to do different things on different ones, right? So this one will make this one more angled so we could use a little bit bigger something. I'm going to do the edges.
Now I had some scraps left over. I had them on my desk here. I have this cute little scrap and I was thinking I pulled this off at top of the one of the paper pads and that would look good up there. I think I might make it so you see the staples on that one. But in the future, I don't think I'll use those pretty staples unless I'm going to let it show, right? So I may just use my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher, which is usually what I use. But I just love those staples. I've gone crazy over those staples. They're so pretty. I actually found a bunch of staples in all the colors of the rainbow in a, in a jar that I had back from my scrapbooking days. I don't know why, but... Okay, let me put that there. And so we're gonna hold this here because I don't wanna ink there. I just wanna go around two of the sides and around the corner. I might come up a little bit. No, I don't think I want to actually rub that off. And you kinda wanna center it. You don't want it to get into the, the center. Are you guys seeing this okay? Let me look. Yeah, you are. Okay. Now we have her over here, and I do want to cover up some. I don't know if I'm going to want to use any music paper or if I just want to use, like, labels and stamps. She takes up quite a bit of space. Now, I could cut the card down, but I kind of like covering up a lot of this crazy pattern. I am going to put her on as a pocket, believe it or not. So this tag has a lot of pocket space. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And what I was thinking is I could put some labels and things on it, you know, to decorate it up. So that gives me a good little piece for another one. See, there you have the inside, you have your notebook and you have your pocket. And you have to figure out what you wanna put in there, right? So let me see. I've got one of my little ephemera pockets here. That's kind of cool to go in there, kind of along the lines of her. You know, she's got something pretty there. I could cover the back, but you know, it's just mainly filler for a little note writing. Lots of writing space here in this little tag. It's definitely a writing tag. I have, let's see, what do I have here? Let me look at the front. Oh, I was looking for something to put here, but that's too big have all these little itty bitties from happiness and crafting oh cute that's too little let me see what have I got let me see what do I have well, that's pretty I round the corners that might actually fit there and I was just looking to see what I had kind of goes along with her but let's see if we round the corners if it's gonna fit or I could cut it smaller actually then I won't feel like I have to cut it I've been dragging out all my ephemera trying to figure out what do I have and what can I use right I'm barely clipping the corners just to make it fit in there right. Kind of have this, this is my everything jar. Oh, that's cute. We could put that on there. That's very cute. Okay, let's just glue that on. Again, we could make this a pocket, but I'm not going to. And we could add a little number. Let's see. I seem to be hooked on the number 10. <laughs> so I guess we'll use the number 10 today. 10. The number 10. It's brought to you by Sesame Street. <laughs> Do you guys remember Sesame Street? <laughs> and we're counting. 10. The number 10. 
Can you say 10? Okay. I love Sesame Street. I used to watch it with my, my son all the time. And my daughter. But when she went off to uh, school, um, that's cute. Okay, and then we have her. Very eclectic kind of looking. We'll see. Now we need... We need, we need some French words to go with her. Do we not? I think we do. Oh, you know what I have? I haven't used you guys. Let me see. Oh, I'm moving stuff. Don't mind me. Oh, goodness. Oh, we have these too. Oh, we have these from Rachel's husband who did these for us. Oh, there's a good one right there. I see several that would work very well. Now, see how these... I don't know if I showed you before. See, there are loops like this. If you have a pair of these, right, scallops, and see how there's the big loop, the little, flip them over, which you're cutting them upside down. But when you do that, it creates the perfect stamp tag edge. So, because I know a couple of you, I saw you with these scissors, and I thought, flip them over, flip them over. I'm like telling you to flip them over like you could hear me. See, gives you that perfect stamp edge. All I didn't do is basically use them upside down, right? Oh, it's too big. Doggone it. Okay, so it's too big. So, hold on a minute. I'm gonna just, these were hanging out, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them so I don't lose them. That's the last thing I wanna do is lose these. I know there's a page of smaller ones. And of course, I picked the wrong size. Maybe I didn't have some other ones already cut, do I? Sometimes I pre-cut like I just did here. I was like, now that one's going to be cut. What did I just do with it? Maybe I put it in the bag already. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. All right. Let me put this in here. Let's look for a smaller one. Oh, there's my babies. Oh, do I have two sheets of that? I mean, I don't want to cut more than one sheet. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to get a bunch of sheets going. Um, these are Roxy Creations. Labels and stamps, it's called. Of course, the one I want. Oh, yep. Is way in there, but we'll make it happen, right? There it is. It's a little awkward to use your scissors upside down, but it's not impossible. Perfect set. Oh, I have the hiccups. The real, honest to gosh, the hiccups. Okay, I'm going to hold my breath for a minute while we're gluing. It usually works. Oh, I'm getting more and more of those cut out, aren't I? Okay. Oh, I don't want all that white on the top. Definitely don't want that. No, no. Yes, I'm keeping it kind of monochromatic. I'm going to actually kind of put it on the... I don't think we need all this, do we? I don't think we do. Let's get rid of that. Let's move that. Let's move that. Like, what could I do with that? I don't know. Is it worth keeping? I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to put the word down there because I like that up there. I feel like it needs something. Like, would we want to put a little music paper behind it? I doubt you'd even see it, right? Yeah, I just think it would be too much. Okay, so we'll use that up there. Okay, let's put that there. And let's put something down there. I'm going to leave these out because I got a feeling we're going to use them. Just like I know we're going to use this. Okay. Uh, let's find a word or words or a title or a date or something. Ooh, too long, but I love that. That would have been perfect. Let's 
see. Mademoiselle works. Let's do that. That's one of my favorites. I've pre-printed these sheets about a hundred times and I need to do it again. So I just gotta go find it in my eight million files because I did not put a thing in here to tell me when I printed these, how long ago. Back on it. So I can go and look. I don't know if I did it in 22 or 23. It's on my old iPad or my new iPad. Oh, I like that little stamp down there, but it's too wide. Okay, I'm gonna cut that off. I keep rolling away from the table here and forgetting to come back. <laughs> Getting further and further away. Pretty soon I'll be in the next room. Is this not fun? This is a fun little project, yeah? I think it is. definitely want to ink the edges since I cut off all the age. Cutting it down, I lost all the cute little goodies, so we definitely want to ink it a bit. And we're going to put that there. Yeah. I'm going to kind of touch it onto the picture. You always want your images to relate to each other by touching. It's the correct way from what I understand. I've been told by a collage artist that you want, if you're doing any kind of collage or layering, you want them to touch each other so that they relate. If they're just all spread out, there's no relation to them, and it's not a true collage. I don't know if that's true, so don't quote me on it. Let's see. I love these, but that is not going to work. Okay. I want some lace. What do I want? I've got a bunch of lace in front of me. I don't no, oh, if I want any of those. Let me see. I haven't wound these on the cards yet. I haven't had the time. I have been so busy trying to get journals worked on. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. It's funny how my fingers will say one side is the right side and my eye will say the other side is the right side. They apparently do not agree on where things should be. Oh, it was colder last night. It's starting to cool down here. It's only set low 70s today. We've gone from the 90s to the 70s, which is great. I love it. No, I'm not complaining. I'm going to actually move that up there. See, see how I can barely see that burgundy stripe fabric? So it's not bad, you know? I need my little, these guys are much sharper than those. Those time I have already dulled these poor scissors out. The, not these, the pink ones, which I knew that was gonna happen eventually. Nope, I knew that wasn't glued, I could tell. Now, when I remember, I put my Fabri-Tac in this pretty glass bottle to uh, make it easier to get everything out. Okay, there you have it. We've got our first card is done. Our first tag. Then what you would do is you could put your you could put a thing all the way through and then untie it so that you can look inside, right? So if you want to keep it a secret tag, I love this. I think I'm going to call it the secret tag. You could, I only have a few minutes before we're going to run out of time, but we've got a couple, uh, couple decorated, did some chit chat, showed you some new things, you know, that I got going on. So sorry, I had to get up and get my crocodile. I could read you from here, but you know what? I really did not want to crash everything. And when I turn off, I will keep right on working. So this is kind of a Merry Monday. We'll probably tag it as Merry Monday. But um, here we go. Now I'm only gonna I'm gonna put the hole through both, but I'm only gonna put an eyelet in one, I think in one. Okay. Oh, I just think I broke my thumbnail. Oh, 
keep breaking this poor one. I gotta get polish on it immediately before it's down to the quick, which is usually what happens because I don't get it up there quick enough. Okay. Oh, that is not center. It looked center, but it's not. This is messing with my eye. Darn it. Okay, anyway. We will put that in. I'm going to get that out of there before I forget, and then it won't work, and I'll be wondering, why does it not work? Those pokey tools are great for that, right? Okay, so now let's... Where'd it go? Did it hit the floor? It did. Oh, you guys. The thing is, I have a black and white carpet, which means I'm going to have to get down on my hands and knees to find it. So the door's locked and closed, so I don't have to worry about the cat getting it. Oh, Tommy's been eating all kinds of stuff he's not supposed to. He was throwing up like crazy this morning. <sighs> he gets a hold of everything. He is... I have a beautiful silk arrangement tucked into my... Wow. Happen. Did I do that backwards? Tucked into my one of my beautiful wire. Um, oh man, that's a mess. Why is that a hot mess? I've never had that happen to me before. Never. Oh boy, that's not even usable. You guys, I might have to cut the top of this tag off and get that out of there because it's a mess. Let me see if I can fix it any. <clears throat> no. Oh, no. It's not what you want to have happen. It closed up the hole and it's sharp, so I have to be careful. I will have to put something over that because that's really, I wouldn't want someone to cut themselves. Definitely going to cover that with something. Ouch. Yeah, you want to be careful. Oof, that doesn't feel good. Um, What could I put up there? I don't want, I have a bunch of these. Uh, that's a button that won't work. I got a ton of these. And they're not all, oh yeah, they are. They're all on a thing, but I guess it would be okay. But I wouldn't be able to put anything through. What am I going to do, you guys? If I cut it off, I'm going to lose that. Um, I will get something and cover over it because I just feel like that's going to be, I'll have to put a tab or a tag or let's put something over that because I just feel like that's dangerous. It's very sharp. Very, very sharp. Let's see, do I have anything? No, I think I'll put a, I think on the inside though, I will put a round one. You got to cover it so we don't cut ourselves. And... Gosh, you guys, that was crazy bad. Well, it happens. So this is what you do if you get a bad hole and you're afraid of, you know, and you can't fix it and you don't want to cut it down. Because normally if, if I didn't have the image so close, I would just cut the tag down and make it a, a, a journal card. But I would cut off the stamp and everything and it would just look funny. So what I'll do is I'll glue this to the inside. We'll use our fabric tack because we need something heavy. I could have used either side. Both are pretty. This is florals. Fleur de lis. Let me see. I think that's about the right way. Okay, so we're going to cover that up. We're going to bend it around it. Imagine if I had my husband work on it. I could open it, but I don't want to, to try to fix that. It's got the piece stuck in there. And I mean, I did it right. It's not like I didn't. I just don't know what happened. Sometimes they're bad ones and you get them and they do that. So let me just find a sticker of some kind. We'll find a number. Okay, I see something cool. Let me cut this off here. Let me show you how to fix this. We're running out of time. That's why I'm getting kind of nervous. This is like, uh-oh. I just picked a small little sticker we could put over that. Okay. I think we've got like two minutes left. Okay. Let me get that cut off. 
And it's a sticker paper, so it should cover it, but I can always add glue if it doesn't. Well, this was fun, you guys. Showed you this new tag I'm working on, and I'll be making a bunch. I'll show you in my next video, whenever that is. If I don't have any ideas, then I won't do a video. I'm not going to make myself do videos unless it comes to me. This one came to me, and I was happy with it. I mean, maybe we'll just do another decorating video. I don't know. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to put that right over it. It's going to have a bump. And someone's going to wonder, why is there a bump there? But at least, A, it doesn't show, and B, yeah, it looks funny. Well, don't know. She's pretty. She might be something that stays with me instead of going away. <laughs> she may not be given uh, in a journal, but, you know, I don't feel like I can't use her for me. So there you have it. We've covered up the boo-boo. The boo-boo is covered. It's all decorated. Isn't she pretty? I'm really happy with her. I really like her. I'm happy with how it came out. You know. So I think that's a, a good. So that's a fun tag. You might want to try those to fill up your journals. I, I don't, I'm sure it's not new. It's not... Um, Just another thing I'm using from my long ago makes. I've made these many times before, but it's in some of my older videos, or I made them prior to me doing videos. Uh, I used to make a lot of stuff and sell it long before I started doing videos, so kind of pull it out of my archives. There you have it. And then I could just put a bow there if I want, you know, and yes, we have a hole in the back, but it's like, big deal, you know. I can just cover that up, and I may... Just put a tag on both and then you don't have to worry about it. You know, it's all good to go. So, well, thanks for watching everyone. I really appreciate you coming along and hanging out with me today. And um, I'm sorry the desk is such a hot mess, but you know, we kind of got into a little thingy there, didn't we? So what did I do with the one we made today? I just had it like 10 seconds ago. Up oh, this one. And then I shared the others with you, so wherever I put those, I don't know where they went. But thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you have a marvelous Monday, a wonderful week, and I'll see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses, bye. <laughs> Hugs and kisses, guys. Bye-bye.